Today is Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is The Kingdom Comes. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, hasten the day when all of your people may know the joy, peace, and harmony of your kingdom. Grant unto me this day the power to live within your kingdom. In the name of Christ, amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 145. I will lift you up high, my God, the true King. I will bless your name forever and always. I will bless you every day. I will praise your name forever and always. True life is great and so worthy of praise. God's greatness can't be grasped. One generation will praise your works to the next one, proclaiming your mighty acts. They will talk all about the glorious splendor of your majesty. I will contemplate your wondrous works. They will speak of the power of your awesome deeds. I will declare your great accomplishments. They will rave in celebration of your abundant goodness. They will shout joyfully about your righteousness. True life is merciful and compassionate, very patient and full of faithful love. True life is good to everyone and everything. God's compassion extends to all God's handiwork. All that you have made gives thanks to you, true life. All your faithful ones bless you. They speak of the glory of your kingdom. They talk all about your power to inform all human beings about God's power and the majestic glory of God's kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingship that lasts forever. Your rule endures for all generations. True life is trustworthy in all that God says faithful in all that God does. True life supports all who fall down, straightens up all who are bent low. All eyes look to you, hoping, and you give them their food right on time, opening your hand and satisfying the desire of every living thing. True life is righteous in all God's ways, faithful in all God's deeds. True life is close to everyone who calls out to God, to all who call out to God sincerely. God shows favor to those who honor God listening to their cries for help and saving them. True life protects all who love God, but God destroys every wicked person. My mouth will proclaim true life's praise, and every living thing will bless God's holy name forever and always.
Our daily scripture is Luke 10, verses 1 through 12. After these things, the master commissioned 72 others and sent them on ahead in pairs to every city and place he was about to go. He said to them, the harvest is bigger than you can imagine, but there are few workers. Therefore plead with the master of the harvest to send out workers for God's harvest. Go, be warned though that I'm sending you out as lambs among wolves. Carry no wallet, no bag, and no sandals. Don't even greet anyone along the way. Whenever you enter a house, first say, may peace be on this house. If anyone there shares God's peace, then your peace will rest on that person. If not, your blessing will return to you. Remain in this house, eating and drinking whatever they set before you, for workers deserve their pay. Don't move from house to house. Whenever you enter a city and its people welcome you, eat what they set before you. Heal the sick who are there and say to them, God's kingdom has come upon you. Whenever you enter a city and the people don't welcome you, go out into the streets and say, as a complaint against you, we brush off the dust of your city that has collected on our feet. But know this, God's kingdom has come to you. I assure you that Sodom will be better off on Judgment Day than that city. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. When Jesus sent the 72 out, he sent them in pairs. What does that teach you about how God desires us to do ministry? And why do you think that is? Jesus told them that the harvest is greater than they can imagine. We tend to think the opposite, that there aren't that many around us who need to hear the good news of God's love. Think about the people in your life. Who is there that might be in need of a word of hope and redemption? How might God be calling you to offer that? Jesus also told them that they would be like sheep going into the midst of wolves. In what ways does your faith, faith life feel like that?
and where the wolves? And how might God be protecting you from them? Our reading today comes from Reaching Out by Henry J. M. Nowen. Only when we have come in touch with our own life experiences and have learned to listen to our inner cravings for liberation and new life can we realize that Jesus did not just speak but that he reached out to us in our most personal needs. The gospel doesn't just contain ideas worth remembering. It is a message responding to our individual human condition. The church is not an institution forcing us to follow its rules. It is a community of people inviting us to still our hunger and thirst at its tables. Doctrines are not alien formulations which we must adhere to, but the documentation of the most profound human experiences, which, transcending time and place, are handed over from generation to generation as a light in the darkness. Let us pray. God, our world is in desperate need of your love and help. Yet so many turn away from God. They turn away from us when we speak of you, God. Give us patience to wait for the right time, words to speak in the right way, and love to let others walk away if that's what they choose to do. We pray for those who are your lambs in the world right now. Protect them with your powerful hand and grant them wisdom for their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the wolves in this world right now. Turn their hearts toward you and give them the desire to choose a better way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are being harmed by the wolves of the world and who are being kept from experiencing your good news of love and mercy. Give them hope and guidance that they may find their way to safer pasture. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace.